Welcome to Serenity Productions. Hi! If you could, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps us out at the bookstore. Thanks! Well, BB, the only way to really know how these work is to test them out. I know, but Fangs can see how everything works after the meeting from Hell with Malcolm. It'll be a nice surprise for those two, right? And I don't feel like waiting and biting my nails, hoping everything is going to go well in that meeting. So instead, we're doing this. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah. Yeah, that looks perfect. Okay. All right, BB, back up. And... <gasps> Holy shit! I've never been able to make an explosion like that before with a rune. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh shit. Okay, water, water, uh, water spell, water spell. Uh, 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 right. Um. Hmm. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm all right. Just these runes take a lot of magic. I don't think anyone in this day and age has that much magical compatibility in them anymore. We've grown so unaccustomed to runes that don't need that much magic to power them. I guess nature took its course. <laughs> of course, that's now disregarding you and Lagardia at the moment. Well, and of course, the army of wraiths will probably be up against. But if we can modify the runes a bit, and we're just very careful with how we use them... We could keep them in our arsenal, along with the weapons that Harriet figured out. Was that the last of them that Eve gave you? Okay, so an explosion rune, a stealth rune, a shield rune, and a healing rune. Literally everything we are going to need in order to break her out. <laughs> this is perfect! She's a fucking genius. <laughs> I wish I could tell her that to her face. She did really good. Especially with you, I mean, holy shit! <laughs> you put Lagartia through the ringer today! You matched our dragon in pretty much everything, except for, you know, flight, but... <laughs> exactly. Which is going to be perfect for when we go up against Driven again. Uh, uh, just you... Um, I don't know if I should answer that question honestly, baby. Please don't take offense to this then, but I don't think you'll be able to take Driven alone even now. He's very powerful. And yes, your new rune is going to make the fight a lot easier this time around, but I think one on one, you might find yourself maybe in a stalemate or... Yeah. But that's why you're not going to be alone this time around. We are going to be right beside you. And we're going to make sure that Drivden gets his ass handed to him this time. Together. Yup, still as one big fucking mishmash of a pack. <laughs> Speaking of pack, where the hell Ian is Lagartia? Corazón. Ah, there you are. Did you hear the big explosion? We could use something like that to get Eve out and... 
Corazón. Earth to Lagartia. I get if you're in deep meditation right now, but I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be relaxing when you're doing it. Hey, Lagartia, you scrunching your face like that is not helping the meditation process. In fact, you might pop a blood cell. Baby, I don't think you chuckling is helping right now. Um, <laughs> Corazon. What are you trying to do? Well, your wings are out, and you look like you're constipated. Uh, all right, Alpha, you keep laughing back there is something I... Just... <laughs> What's going on? Is there a joke that I don't understand that's happening right now? What? Seriously, Lagartia? Uh, no, no, I mean, ah, uh, okay, that came out wrong. Um, okay, by that logic, yes, technically the dragons of old were shifters, and yes, you should technically be able to shift fully, but we have no idea if you truly have that ability. I mean, you have demon in you too, and while Harriet said it was demon blood that was more of a glue in order to help your soul have the dragon settle in you and half another shit of science-y magic that I did not understand, it could also be preventing you from having a full dragon form. I mean, have you talked with her about this? About... The possibilities about how much demon to dragon she actually used. <laughs> well, she helped to make you. If anyone would have a better idea of how your powers may or may not work or manifest, it would be her. Oh, and what brought this on anyway? And why are you not meeting me in the eyes? And baby, why are you... <sighs> Dios mio. <laughs> Is this because BB keeps getting stronger and you want to be the strongest on the team again? Which, by the way, you still technically are by a small margin. Corazon, look at me. Mireme. Be honest right now. Is this really what this is about? <clears throat> Both of you are too competitive for your freaking. No, no, no. Alpha, you shush. You go and walk over there for a minute. Va. All right. How long have you been trying to push yourself like this? Six m- <sighs> Lagartia! Why didn't you say anything? Why didn't you gonna Harriet and me with your concerns? We could have helped you figure this out. Helped you to understand if there's a possibility for you to transform into a full dragon. <clears throat> That doesn't matter. If it's something that you think that could help, we'll take anything. You know that. And it's not silly, and it's not something that shouldn't be a concern right now because of everything else going on. It's something that's been bogging you down. I thought we promised each other open communication. All right. That aside, you do know just pushing yourself like this, though, is not going to work. I know, because I used to do that with my singing. I thought if I practiced more, if I just pushed myself more in secret, then I could do the same thing that all the other sirens could around me. That wasn't the case. And I had to go to my dad. Together we figured out what my powers were, what I could or could not do. 
Corazon, you're a hybrid. I know that a lot of the times we don't mention your demon side, but you are a hybrid. And coming from a hybrid, it comes with a lot of advantages. But it also comes with a price, too. You may never be able to turn into a full dragon. Hell, you, you were lucky enough to get the wings and fire breathing and some scales and the height and the strength and the greater use for magic and, and uh, there's a litany of things that you got. But this might be where the dragon ends for you. No, 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 I'm not saying you don't continue to try. Of course, you continue to try. And I will help you, and if we can find a way to trigger a transformation, then... That's great! But is that why you want to do it? To feel more with your dragon self? And please don't tell me it's really just to be stronger than BB by a huge margin. Corazon. <sighs> you are so much more than our strongest fighter. You know that, right? You're the glue that holds us together. You are there for all of us in ways that sometimes we can't see. You remind us of forgiveness and compassion. You, my darling dragon are the heart of our group. And you bring more to us than just your physical ability to fight. You remind us of faith and that we have to have it. And even if you did lose the place of being the strongest in our group does not mean that you do not have a part in it. That you don't have a role. Corazon, you have the biggest role. Without you, I don't know if we would have been able to keep us all together for as long as we have. You keep us whole, Mother Thea. And you have no idea the responsibility that comes with that. And you carry it with such grace and such love. You are so much more than just a weapon, and I don't ever want you to think of yourself as that. You're our faith. And without you, I think we would have fallen into darkness a long time ago. Mm. Mm. BB, thank you for agreeing, but we're having a moment. <laughs> They're right, you know. Now, if you truly want to find out if you can do this, then let's get Harriet involved. And maybe the Alpha over there can help you understand what it's like to shift. If this is a part of yourself that you want to see, if you have, then let's do it. I mean, I won't lie, having a giant dragon on our side would be amazing and hellion. I bet it would scare the ever-loving shit out of Driften. Not to mention, it would be a hell of a form of poetic justice. <laughs> We will help you with this, Corazon, I promise. <laughs> I do want to point out that you weren't wrong with trying meditation. It's not a bad way to help your soul settle a little, but that 
is not the right way to go about it. And you should remember this from when we used to do it for your rehabilitation. So, BB, you joining us? Yeah, well, maybe you could use it to settle your soul a little too. So let's all take a moment. Just sit your furry ass down and let me follow my lead, okay? <sighs> oh, God. Good to know you two teasing the shit out of each other is something that will never change. <laughs> now shush and follow my breathing. <laughs> 